Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side review of Avery Pumpkin, the 2014 batch, which is the very first one they ever came out with, versus the 2016 batch. This one, Super Fresh, just came out two months ago, so really looking forward to doing this one. They've only had three batches so far. And yeah, I've actually never had this one, so it'll be kind of fun to do this. As you guys probably already know, Pumpkin is their Imperial Porter, brewed with pumpkin and all those traditional pumpkin pie kind of spices, and then they aged it in bourbon barrels for six months. Now, I don't get into the color of the beers too much anymore, but I thought it was interesting that the 2014, the OG batch, actually looks like a... Porter, it's very dark, not completely pitch black, and it's got like a khaki tan head, versus the 2016 badge is much, much lighter, kind of an off-white colored head. This one looks more like, kind of like a barley wine, or I guess a more traditional pumpkin beer. It does not look anywhere near as dark as this one, so that already is kind of weird, but you know what, guys? Without further ado, let's check out the aroma on the 2014. Oh, wow. I, actually, very smooth smelling. You know, for over 17%, I was really expecting this one to be boozy, even with two years of age on it. But yeah, I'm definitely needing like some milk chocolate, a little bit of like some subtle roastiness. Definitely getting some bourbon, a little bit of oak. Not getting too much in the way of the spices and the pumpkin. I am getting a little bit of like some nutmeg and cinnamon, but very, very mild. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, definitely chocolate, definitely vanilla, oaky notes. Again, not huge on like the bourbon though, even though it's definitely there. Yeah, interesting stuff. Let's go ahead, check out the taste. Wow. Whew. <laughs> I gotta say. That was deceptive because this beer did not smell boozy, but holy shit, there is still a ton of warmth in this one. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of warmth on that first sip. Lots of bourbon, lots of vanilla, lots of chocolate. It actually, the way that they like the chocolate and the vanilla and everything interacts, it actually kind of has like this almost marshmallowy quality, which is awesome. But yeah, loads and loads of bourbon in this one. Again, chocolate, vanilla. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of maybe of like old spice, but I'd say the pumpkin's pretty much faded out, not getting too much in the way of the other spices either, which is kind of interesting, but yeah, I'm going to take a sip real quick here, palate cleanser. Not that I probably need one considering both of these I think are absolute palate destroyers, but let's go and check out the aroma on the 2016. Oh wow, that smells like a completely different beer, so up front definitely getting the pumpkin and those pumpkin pie spices. Yeah, lots of cinnamon, lots of ginger, a little bit of nutmeg, allspice, clove. Yeah, that's interesting. You know what's funny too is I'm not even sure that they're using ginger, but I definitely get kind of like a gingery smell. You know what, they're not. They're using nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, cloves, yeah. So they're not even using ginger, but I still kind of get that, I guess the combination of like nutmeg and allspice. I definitely pumpkin, definitely some bourbon, not getting any chocolate, no roastiness. Again, much, much lighter too, which is kind of weird. Yeah, some bourbon, some vanilla, but yeah, again, it's more pumpkin pie like and the spices compared to the actual like bourbon barrel. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take our first taste. Interesting. So, definitely some warming effects going on, but for this one being almost two percentage points higher, this actually seems less boozy than the 2014, which is weird, because this has two months and this has two years, so yeah, you guys tell me how the hell that works. But yeah, just like in the aroma, lots of pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie spices for sure. Mostly that cinnamon and nutmeg stand out quite a bit. And then I'm getting some bourbon, not an overload of bourbon, but there's definitely that nice kind of bourbon character, some oaky notes, some vanilla, almost like a little bit of like caramel and toffee kind of sweetness. Even like some kind of like molasses, burnt brown sugar kind of thing going on. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that is interesting, though, because I really don't get any of, like, the kind of porter elements I was expecting from this one. 
And I guess judging by the characters, you know, just the color and everything, that is really, really kind of a weird thing. I don't know, that is very, very different. It's almost like I'm drinking two different beers. Not that I'm aging and, and I'm tasting an aged one versus a fresh one, just like two different beers. But you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and check out the 2014 once more. Whew. Yeah, that still has a lot of heat to it. My God. I can't even imagine what this one was like fresh. But yeah, this drinks like an imperial porter, brewed with pumpkin, aged in bourbon barrels. This just kind of tastes like a pumpkin beer that was aged in bourbon barrels. So again, that is very, very strange. I, I'm very curious what the hell happened with this one because it doesn't, it still just doesn't seem like much of a, a porter base to me. But oh well, this one is fucking delicious though, guys. Bourbon, 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 chocolate, roast. It's like this decadent, rich, fudgy milk chocolate. And then vanilla, lots of vanilla, lots of sweetness. Definitely, again, like this marshmallowy character. Mild, very, very mild in terms of the spices. Get like zero pumpkin now. It's almost more like just a bourbon barrel aged porter at this point. Mmm. Damn, that is really fucking good. I mean, it's boozy for sure. It's warm, but... Man, that like marshmallowy, chocolatey, bourbony thing that's going on, a little bit of oak, really, really nice. It's also on the fuller side of medium bodied, and it definitely has this rich, kind of creamy, creamy, like palate coating type of mouthfeel. It has a, a little bit of bitterness to offset some of that sweetness, but this one's definitely a very, very sweet, kind of sipping dessert beer. All right, let's do one more sip on the 2016 here as well. Yeah, that is night and day. Pumpkin pie, spices, a little bit of like more of that molasses, more of that kind of like brown sugar, lots and lots of sweetness for sure. Bourbon's definitely in there, but I think the bourbon's a lot more nuanced in this one. Definitely a little bit of oak, but again, zero porter character like whatsoever. It just tastes like a massive, massive fucking pumpkin beer that has been bourbon barrel aged, which is kind of strange. And again, this one's almost 19%. And I really, there's a little bit of warmth, but it's not nearly as boozy as the 2014, which again, it's just kind of a very, very weird thing. I'm not sure what the hell is going on with this one. So if you guys have had the 2014 and the 2016, or hell, even if you've had bad to let me know down in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys have thought, especially if you've done like this comparison or you've actually had the full three year vertical. That'd be really cool. So, interesting stuff, guys. In terms of rating for the 2014, let's get one more sip here and then I'm probably gonna be drunk, honestly. I mean, God, I'm drinking like two, I'm drinking 17 and almost 19 percent beer here. Yeah, this beer is awesome. It's definitely on the sweet side, definitely on the boozy side, but at the same time, it is just really fucking delicious. So, in terms of rating for the 2014, I am going with a 9.3 out of 10. Again, marshmallow, lots of chocolate, roastiness, bourbon, bourbon, bourbon. Really sweet, delicious stuff. Just really, really nice. You know, now that I've had a few sips, I, I don't notice the booze as much, but it's still very strong. And once more on the 2016... Yeah, pumpkin pie, pie spices, zero porter base whatsoever. Kind of a weird thing, but it's a lot smoother. So in terms of rating for the 2016 guys, I'm going with an 8.5 out of 10. I'm impressed with how smooth this one is. It's like scary, scary drinkable for almost 19%. But I'm not the hugest of pumpkin beer fans. I think you guys already know that. And I also find it really weird that the porter, it doesn't taste like a porter at all. It just, again, tastes like this big, massive Imperial pumpkin beer. Not sure what the hell is going on with that one. But again, if you guys have had similar circumstances, let me know down in the comments below. Alrighty, guys, that does it for this beer review. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.